evolution of computer forensics. It is difficult to pinpoint the first computer forensics examination or the beginning of the field for that matter. But most experts agree that the field of computer forensics began to evolve more than 30 years ago. The field began in the United States in large part when law enforcement and military investigators started seeing criminals get technical. Government personnel charged with protecting important, confidential and certainly secret information conducted forensic examinations in response to potential security breaches to not only investigate the particular breach but to learn how to prevent future potential breaches. Ultimately, the fields of information security, which focuses on protecting information and assets, and computer forensics, which focuses on the response to high-tech offenses, started to intervene. Over the next decade and up to today, the field is evolving, employing internal information security and computer forensics professionals or contracting such professionals or firms on as and when needed basis. Significantly, the private legal industry has more recently seen the need for computer forensics examination in civil legal disputes, causing an explosion in the e-discovery field. The history of forensic science dates back thousands of years. Fingerprinting was one of its first application. The ancient Chinese used fingerprints to identify business documents. In 1892, Francis Galton established the first system for classifying fingerprints. Sir Edward Henry, Commissioner of Metropolitan Police of London, developed his own system in 1896 based on the direction, flow, pattern and other characteristics in fingerprints. The Henry classification system become the standard for criminal fingerprinting techniques worldwide. In 1835, Scotland Yard's Henry Goddard became the first person to use physical analysis to connect a bullet to the murder weapon. Bullet examination became more precise in the 1920s when American physician Calvin Goddard created the comparison microscope to help determine which bullets came from which shell casings. And in the 1970s, a team of scientists at the Aerospace Corporation in California developed a method for detecting gunshot residue using scanning electronic microscopes. In 1836, a Scottish chemist named James Marsh developed a chemical test to detect arsenic, which was used during a murder trial. Nearly a century later, in 1930, scientist Carl Lensteiner won the Nobel Prize for classifying blood into its various groups. Other tests were developed in the mid-90s to analyze saliva, semen and other body fluids as well to make blood tests more precise. In 1984, FBI magnetic media program, which was 
later renamed to Computer Analysis and Response Team, was created and it is believed to be the beginning of computer forensics. In 1988, the International Association of Computer Investigative Specialists, an international non-profit corporation composed of volunteer computer forensic professionals dedicated to training and certifying practitioners in the field of forensic computer science was formed. It was followed by the formation of International Organization on Computer Evidence in 1995 which aims to bring together organizations actively engaged in the field of digital and multimedia evidence to foster communication and cooperation as well as to ensure quality and consistency within the forensic community. With the rise in cybercrime, the G8 nations realized the importance of computer forensics and in 1997 declared that law enforcement personnel must be trained and equipped to address high-tech crimes. In 1998, G8 appointed IICE to create international principles, guidelines and procedures related to digital evidence. In the same year, Interpol Forensic Science Symposium was held. The first FBI Regional Computer Forensic Laboratory established in 2000 at San Diego. Now we will present the timeline of computer forensics evolution. We will start with 1835 when Scotland Yard's Henry Godred became the first person to use physical analysis to connect a bullet to a murderer weapon. In 1836, James Marsh developed a chemical test to detect arsenic, which was used during a murder trial. In 1892, Sir Francis Galton established the first system for classifying fingerprints. In 1896, Sir Edward Henry, based on the direction, flow, pattern and other characteristics in fingerprint, developed a classification pattern. In 1920, American physician Calvin Godard created the comparison microscope to help determine which bullet came from which shell casing. In 1930, Karl Landsteiner won the Nobel Prize for classifying human blood into various groups. In 1970, Aerospace Corporation in California developed a method for detecting gunshot residue using scanning electron microscope. In 1984, FBI Magnetic Media Program, which was later renamed to Computer Analysis and Response Team, was created and it is believed to be the beginning of computer forensics. In 1988, International Association of Computer Investigative Specialists was formed. International Organization on Computer Evidence was formed in 1995. In 1997, G8 nations declared that law enforcement personnel must be trained and equipped to address high-tech crimes. In 1997, G8 nations declared that law enforcement personnel must be trained and equipped to address high-tech crimes. In 1998, G8 appointed IICE to create international principles, guidelines and procedures relating to digital evidence. And in the same year, first Interpol Forensic Science Symposium was held. In the year 2000, 
the first FBI regional computer forensic laboratory was established.